We ruled and had great nations. We built great buildings called pyramids. Now, they won't teach you that in your school. But our ancestors focused on peace and education, not division and conquest like the others. Really, Grandpa? Really, Aiden. <laughs> we had a great civilization that nobody else on earth at the time could touch. We were, we were one with nature. That's your history. And don't let anybody tell you different. Okay. That must be your mother. Did you have fun with Grandpa today? Mm-hmm. Good. Uh, Eve, uh, how was work today? It was fine, but I am tired. How are you, Adam? Uh, getting better all the time. <laughs> Good. Uh, so when's Junior going to have a chance to come home again? He should be home soon. I know he's working on an early project tomorrow morning. Doesn't have time to spend with his old man. You know, we haven't been down to those woods with the uh, spring. You know the ones the family used to go to all the time? Hmm. It's hard to forget that place. There's so many memories. Chris, how's it going? Hey, Adam. How you doing? All right. Thanks. Uh, you know, Chris, uh, I've been thinking, man. What's up? I really don't feel right clearing this place out. <laughs> what are you talking about? We're under contract. Yeah, but there's a lot of history here, man. Uh, I just don't feel right wiping it off. We won't be. We'll just be getting rid of the old for the new. Don't you think there's enough factories already? <laughs> Look, Adam, I don't make the rules. What the corporation wants, the corporation gets, and we don't have much say in it. Well, that may be the case. I mean, I need this. I need the work, right? But I just can't be a part of this. Hey, Adam, if I had it my way, I wouldn't pick a leaf off a tree. But this job puts food on my table. That may be the case, but at what cost? You know, I'm gonna go. You sure? Yeah. The boss won't be too happy about this. That's fine. He can do what he has to. He'll find a way. Okay. to bed early. He was out catching up with some of his old friends. You know how dad is. Yeah, I know how dad is. Uh. <laughs> so, they let you off early today? Nah, I've been... I've been, uh, I've been driving around. 
You didn't work today? Um, you've about that. I quit. You know they're having us clear out that beautiful forest. The one with the spring. Yeah, your dad mentioned that earlier. Our whole neighborhood used to go down there. Yeah, and so did we as kids. Then I started thinking about all that beauty and, and, and the history of our community and our people. And it's just being replaced by something that's artificial. These factories that we keep building. And I just can do it. But Adam, what are you gonna do about a job? <sighs> I mean, I mean, I thought about that already, and I know something will come along, Eve. I just couldn't be a part of erasing our history. Aiden, I want you to understand something. Your father's not a quitter. I'm not. And I, and I don't want you to be. But what I did today was not quitting. It was the right thing to do. Do you understand me, son? What do you mean, Daddy? I mean, you're... You're a little too young to understand it. But one day, there'll be certain things that you won't be a part of, that you won't do, because you know your history. Our history. Our people's history. And what you should do is you should preserve it and pass it on and be proud of it, son. Like Grandpa says? <laughs> yeah, like, like your Grandpa says. Now I want you to promise your mom and I that you'll never forget your history. Okay, I promise. That's my boy, come here.